From the 1st of January 2026, the UK CAA require drone flyers that want to fly their drone on a night to fit their drone with a green flashing light, visible to those on the ground and other airspace users, just the same as flyers in the US and Europe. Now, if you are a lucky owner of a drone such as this, the DJI Mini 4 Pro or DJI Mini 5 Pro, you will know that DJI have already fitted these models with a green flashing light. If I spin it around, you'll see it's located just on the end of the arm, okay? But there is a bit of a problem because with these mini series drones, the minute we want to press record, which of course we might want to do on a night, it actually switches those lights off, making our drone then uncompliant to the new regulation. Now, other models out there, such as the DJI Air 3S, are a little bit different because whilst they have the same lights, we actually have an option in the DJI Fly app to be able to keep them on even during recording, which is an absolutely great tool. But obviously with the mini drones, it's just not possible. So for me, that leaves us only two options. Option number one will be for DJI, if you do have one of these models, to update the firmware and Fly app to allow us to toggle those lights to stay on like we can the Air 3S. However, if you have a drone that literally doesn't have any lights at all, then the other solution, of course, is to buy yourself one of these. This is called an external strobe. This is by a company called Flytron, and it's called the Strobon Cree. Now, this light right here is incredibly bright. It only weighs around four grams, so it's incredibly lightweight as well. And because it can be seen from a huge three miles it's fully faa compliant if you're flying it out in the us okay so this is absolutely fantastic it's got a huge long battery life and it just charges via usb if you can see that right there now as you can see these strobes do come in a variety of colors we've got white we've got red we've got green and we have blue and if after watching this video you decide you want to go pick up one of these strobes what i will do is i will leave a link in the video description should, and there should be a discount code on screen right about here so you can go pick up them with a bit of discount thus making being compliant just that little bit cheaper. Now I already know that many of you are going to have some reservations about adding a strobe to a C0 level drone such as the DJI Mini 5 Pro, essentially meaning that if you add that strobe it's going to take it out of that C0 class. Now the CAA surely have to apply a degree of common sense because they already know the weight of a Mini 5 Pro for example, they already know the weight of a DJI Mini 4 Pro and they already know that if you start to record using either of these drones the built-in lights are going to to be switched off. Now there has to be a degree, as I mentioned, of common sense, the fact that the only real solution to this problem is by adding an external strobe. So of course, if the regulator is advising you that that's the course of action you need to take, whilst also relaxing the rules, I personally don't shoot the messenger on this one, but surely they cannot really grumble at the event of adding a couple more grams to a mini drone in order to be compliant when flying at night. So where should you actually put the strobe then? Because this has caused a huge talking point on social media circles, with many people saying that the strobe should go on the top so it can be visible by aircraft, and then other people have said it should go underneath so you can see it yourself from the ground. Well, I've come up with a slightly different solution because what I've decided to do is not only fit one strobe to my drone, I'm actually going to fit two because the first location I'm going to put one on this bottom arm right here. Now, when you do buy these strobes, from Flytron, you can actually buy this dual lock 3M backed, okay, sticky thing if it actually focuses. Yeah, that's focused, okay? So what you do is you put one of them on the strobe, one of them on your drone, and then it literally just almost like Velcro, just locks on, just like that. So that's going to cater for those pointing downwards so I can see it from the ground. However, I'm also going to place one on this section right here, just on the arm. Now, yes, I appreciate this is facing outwards, but I'm convinced that these lights are that bright that you should still be able to see them when flying above. And that's something I'm going to test when I do my test flight. So fingers crossed my hunch is going to be correct on that one, otherwise I'm going to look a little bit silly. So just how good are these strobes then? Well, let's pick it up on location and find out exactly that. And a word of warning, if this test goes exactly how I'm hoping it goes, there's certainly going to be a lot of people triggered indeed. 
So we're picking this up on location to put these strobes to the test on a night to see how effective they actually are. Now as per the CAA regulations, I fitted a green strobe to my drone, except I not only have I fitted one, I've actually fitted two, one on the front arm and one on the back. And I've gone one step further because not only have I fitted green, I fitted red on the left hand side and green on the right hand side, the exact same way you would on an aircraft for navigation. Now this is going to be interesting because at the end of the day, you do not have to do this. But given the fact that we are flying on a night, we still are under visual line of sight regulations, meaning I still need to be able to see the orientation of my drone. And by fitting navigation lights to the right hand side and the left, both front and back, Hopefully, this is going to allow us to do exactly that. Right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take off, go a little bit higher. And of course, as you can see, if I start that recording, those rear lights are going to go off. So what I'm going to do is just fly over here. Okay, gaining some altitude. And as you can see, by looking at the drone over in the sky, I can actually see the navigation lights. So I can actually fly around, keeping my eye on the drone. Now obviously the concept behind this is really simple. If I can only see green, then that means the drone is facing to the right of me. If I turn it to the left, it must be the red side that's facing me, okay? So what I'm going to do is literally head off, okay, and just fly around. And naturally, if I stop the drone, if the green is on the left and the red is on the right hand side, that means it's facing me. If the green is on the right hand side and the red is on the left, then that literally means that it's facing away from me. So what I'm going to do is just head off out. Okay, we'll put it in normal mode, and get a little bit of speed. Now, what I'm going to do is as I'm flying along, I can see it's heading sort of partly away from me because naturally I can see green and red. Okay, so that means it is literally heading away. I can see the back of the drone. If I turn it to the left, I can see red on the left, green on the right. Nice and simple. Now this is really going to put the cat amongst the pigeons because what I'm going to do right now is press the button on my controller, hopefully my camera can see this, and I'm going to turn off the screen, basically meaning I can see no telemetry, okay, I can't see the distance, I can't see the map, and I can't see the compass. So what I'm going to do is just fly out even further, okay, bearing in mind I'm just looking at the drone in the sky and flying under visual line of sight. Nice and simple. And I can see the lights are getting a little bit further away from me, but naturally I can see them. So if I just turn to the left, there we go. I can only see red. So I know I'm flying to the left. Okay. Now if I gently just turn that back to the right so I can see red and green. I can see I'm flying further away from me. And as you can see, my screen is still off and I can perfectly see the orientation of the drone. So obviously I've no idea how far out I am. No idea, I can't see any telemetry, no map, nothing. You can see exactly what I can, okay? So what I'm going to do is attempt to fly the drone home. There we go, I can just see left. So there we go, now I can see red on the left and green on the right. Bearing in mind, I have no idea how far away we are. I'm flying completely under visual line of sight by being obviously able to see the drone at all times. I should tilt the gimbal down as it's coming back towards me. The lights are getting a little bit brighter. Really, really interesting in this one. Obviously, there's no return to home. Um, you can see the camera feed as I'm recording this, okay? And there we go, the drone's getting closer, it's getting closer, it's getting closer. Still, see, you know, obviously, screen is still off. The drone is coming just overhead. There we go, it's just overhead. Right above me, controller is still off, as you can see. Let's bring the drone all the way back down using our navigation lights. There 
And there we go. And we are going to land the drone. So the final test will be to see if these strobes could be seen by another drone up in the air or an aircraft or something like that from above, even with the placement that I've put them on the DJI Mini 5 Pro. And as you can see, if I flip to the feed for my second drone that I've just put up in the air, as you can see, you know, that drone is perfectly visible. And if I spin it around, you should even be able to see the different colors, etc. Okay, that's a really interesting point. So even from another drone or aircraft or any anything above the drone's perspective, we can see it both from above and down with these strobes. So we're going to pick this up back in the studio for a full conclusion. So what do you think to that then? Given the fact that I was able to fly out, navigate the drone, come all the way home, all without any telemetry or screen, proves visual line of sight beyond any doubt, and how strobes with that green and red flashing light can be used for navigation. But the big question you're going to be asking is just how far did I fly? Because I genuinely have no idea. So if I play back the flight log from the DJI Fly app, you can see the maximum distance I got to was 816 meters before I was able to successfully fly this drone all the way home. Home, just using the navigation lights. And let me tell you, I could have gone at least double that and still flown this drone home unaided. So to wrap up this video then, these strobes are going to keep you fully compliant for flying your drone at night. And of course, if you want to grab some, I will leave a link to them in the video description with that discount code you saw earlier to go grab yourself a set. So if you found this video useful, please do give it a big thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithm more people just like you might want to watch my content. Subscribe if you're awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. See you again soon.